Hello and welcome to another BBB BBV review. Um, the first one I did was of Shakedown, um, and there was one thing that I completely forgot to mention in that review. If you want to see more of Shakedown, it is available on YouTube and Daily Motion and places like that. So if you want to see it, you know, just search it in the, the search box. And also, if you want to. Uh, if you want to read the book, uh, there is an actual book of Shakedown. It was uh, the the BBV was based off um, <coughs> a book, um, but which was the New Adventures, the Virgin New Adventures range, um, called Shakedown, and it featured Bernice Summerfield and the Seventh Doctor and Ace and stuff like that. So if you want to read more of Shakedown and go into further detail, then might be best picking up the book of Shakedown. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say at the beginning of this video. So um, yeah, today I'm going to review another BBV. Uh, these are in no particular order by the way, it's just the ones that I've wanted to watch. So um, this one is called Do You Have a License to Save This Planet? featuring Sylvester McCoy. Um, so um, yes, this <coughs> this the plot of this is that um, the, foot, the Foot Doctor we see in his TARDIS, it's a CGI TARDIS because the BBVs were made on really low um, budget because obviously during this time Doctor Who was uh, in its wilderness years and you know obviously wasn't very popular as much as the fans wanted it back it wasn't as popular as some people would have liked to, uh, it to be, so um, that's why they made the BBVs to fill the gaps in the years um, that were gone by, if that makes sense. So uh, it's sort of one of the reasons why the BBVs came into production, uh, just to you know keep the fans happy. Um, and they are basically just spoofs, really, of Doctor Who. They're parodies of Doctor Who, you know. Um, but they are... I've watched about... Two and, a, two and a half now. Um, the next one I'll talk about later in, at the end of the review, which I'll be reviewing next, hopefully. Um, so, yes. Uh, do you have a license to save this planet? Uh, Sylvester McCoy uh, plays a character which is called the Foot Doctor, meaning that he travels just on Earth. He can't really go anywhere at the moment. Well, he can, but he just sort of chooses to, you know, go and walk about on Earth for a bit until he finds himself uh, trapped in by licensed Doctor Who monsters um, such as the Santarans and the Autons which were like the only ones that were sort of um, you know allowed to sort of be in this production um, but as well as uh, those two particular aliens or villains or monsters or whatever. You also have um, a, an alien that uh, is a BBV production. They created it themselves and it's sort of like um, a sort of a spoof of the Cybermen uh, and they are called Cyberons and uh, there is um, another BBV production called Cyberon which is the next BBV I will be reviewing. Um, and um, they, they're a bit, they're they're a comedic element to the story, um, and there's a particular scene where um, uh, you see a Cyberon and an Auton hugging each other, which is a bit bizarre, but obviously with this being a spoof, um, you know it has to be, you know, a spoof. You can't just make it serious, otherwise it would be crap. So. Um, um, there are, you know, some references in this. Uh, for example, a crinoid appears. Um, the salesman, which is another character, played by um, a chap called Mark Donovan. Um, and he's not the Mark Donovan that you see in the between us, because you know, I was a bit surprised when it turned out to be the same name. But uh, um, yeah, he mentions the Zygons. Um, and I think there's like a reference to Star Trek, I'm not too sure because I don't really watch Star Trek um, and I think, I'm trying to think what other references there are there's a few references to, uh, 
a few references to the uh, Fifth and Sixth Doctors. I'm not sure what they are, but um, I was looking at you know the list of references that uh, this particular BBV production have because most of them have references to <coughs> Doctor Who uh, anyway. So um, the reason why. Uh, Sylvester McCoy's character is called the Foot Doctor is because they didn't have a license to use the actual character of the Doctor as, uh, himself because even if they did they'll have to um, find you know a place in this uh, in his timeline to put this particular BBV but then again it, it is a spoof so it doesn't really have to be canon which I'm sure it's probably not canon um, as most of the BBV productions aren't canon, I don't think. Um, I'd be surprised if they are, um, <clears throat> because they're not really that sort of thing that would be canon uh, when it comes to Doctor Who, but I'm sure BBV have their own sort of canon um, in their universe, so, you know. Um, uh, for the, If you've forgotten what BBV stands for, it stands for Bill and Ben Productions, or Bill and Ben, no, Bill and Ben Videos, I have no idea why it's called that, but uh, yeah, that's the reason. Why, that's why it's that's the name of BBV. Well, that's what it stands for. So um, the Santarans, I think, are uh, they're not like the ones you see in Shakedown. They're slightly different. Uh, I'm not sure when the bounce this was made, um, but you know, it's, um, two of the well, the the two writers of this production um i think they played they actually played some of the creep well either the santarans or the autons in this or the cyberons rather um they actually you know had a part in this which was quite cool um and there was one scene that i wanted to mention um is that the there's a scene because uh, there's a bit in the plot in this where uh two cyberons are living in a house and they share a house together and they act like little kids uh, because you see them in a room and it's got like Pokemon posters and you know all, all these kind of things that you know a young kid would have um, and they're like you see them playing computer games and it's really quite bizarre um, but like I said before it's, it is a spoof so you know you can't really say what the hell is going on here uh, but that's why I sort of said when I was watching it, what on earth is going on? Um, because you watch these BBVs and you think, what is this? What am I watching? But, you know, in a good way. You know, not in a bad way of anything. Like, this is a waste of time. Um, but yeah, this the genre of this is comedy. So, you know, don't take it seriously at all, really. Um, it's mainly set for laughs. So if you think, oh, I better watch this and give a full judgment on it because... Um, if it's taken seriously then uh, you know you won't enjoy it um, I mean I knew it was a comedy from the get go really uh, but um, I think I'm not sure if I mentioned that the foot doctor travels in a washing machine um, which is a really bizarre um, and at the very beginning of the audio um, the BBV sorry uh, you, you see an animation of Rassilon and his sort of um, and the guy and there's a another guy who delivers some sort of uh, package to him and it's like um, something of Rassilon um, I can't remember what it was but uh, it's quite random at the beginning um, and that's where it all kicks off uh, I'm not very I'm not explaining this very well because some of these BBVs are a bit com like hard to explain uh, because they're just so like you know, random, um, but you know it's it's a quite a funny um, quite a funny production or video or story or whatever. Um, so I mean, if you want to watch it, then just search it up on YouTube and you should be able to find it no problem. Um, I watched it on YouTube and uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't you know I wasn't expecting anything spectacular, um, but. Uh, overall really it's not bad um not a bad um uh, watch it's if you want to get you if you want to cheer yourself up then uh you might want to watch do you have a license to save this planet so um i'm pretty much, i'm sure that um is about it in my review um i'm not sure if there's anything else to say apart from 
Um, you know, all the, the you know, just expect you know something completely out of the ordinary when you watch it because um, it's re not really Doctor Who apart from the fact that you've got um, a character called the Foot Doctor who's played by Sylvester McCoy, uh, the Santarans and the Autons. It's just something that I think they felt was right to do really uh, for the BBV company and it was I think it was mainly to keep the fans happy um, so as if there was still the hope that Doctor Who would return which obviously it did in 2012 I think it was announced in 2004 um, sometime um, but yeah so um, overall I'd probably rate um, do you have a license to save this planet um, probably a 6 out of 10 so thanks for watching and goodbye and I shall see you for my next BVV review, which which will be of Cyberon. So thank you for watching and goodbye.